forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with meteorologist Sabian Colon. Good evening, everybody, and happy Friday. We had a sunny day today with temperatures in the upper 50s and mid 50s and even cracking somewhere in the lower 60s. But right now we're looking at our Syntex roof system sky checker we're out here in Woodway. You can see pretty clear conditions. You can almost see the moon, but it's a little bit out of our viewing area right now. But currently we have temperatures at around sitting at 39 degrees. So we've dropped a little bit throughout the day with a three mile an hour wind out of the north northwesterly region. As we go into other temperatures, we can see 43 in Temple, 52 in Clean. And if you're going down south to the Brazos Valley, 44 in College Station and 43 in Brenham and other drought monitors. We can see that rain that came through this past couple of weeks ago that made a big impact on this week's drought monitor. We have Temple now in the moderate slash severe area that was in the extreme before, but now that red has kind of shifted down south a little bit and most of our area is in the moderate, the dry and the severe area and even Waco is in the dry over there and Hillsborough doesn't even have any drought effect. Affecting it going to our forecast fire danger. We can see everybody's in this bluish color over here, having more of it on a moderate category. We do have some of it over here on the low on the more of the eastern counties on our area. But yet again, you want to make sure you want to be careful when you're having a fire. Make sure you have the necessary tools to put it out effectively. We need a bucket of water or some fire extinguishers. Just being safe. You want to have a campfire coming up this next weekend. And as we go to our satellite and radar, we can see all is quiet. We can see the showers behind my head over to the east. That's moving all to the northeast, not really convincing us and really hurting our area of the central Texas. Again, Waco, Colleen and College Station are looking pretty clear throughout the night. And we go, that's going to be the trend for the next couple of days as well. So as we go to our future cast, we're starting here on Saturday at 12 a.m. All is quiet. Temperatures are in between the upper 30s and lower 40s, putting this into motion. And as we get into the Saturday morning, temperatures drop down so everybody's sitting around either at freezing below freezing or a little bit above freezing so as we put this into motion we go into the afternoon of Saturday we warm up a little bit to the upper 50s and lower 60s and as we progress into the evening hours of Saturday we get a little bit warmer even in mid 60s at some spots on that Saturday so a warm weekend with some plenty of sunshine and as we progress into the overnight hours of Saturday and into Sunday morning we do get some clouds leaking on in from the west, but not really concerning us. Mostly sunny throughout the whole day. Now we're stopping here and moving to the afternoon of Sunday and into the evening hours of Sunday. Get our temperatures in the upper 60s, maybe even lower 70s in some spots. So it's going to be a great Sunday with mostly cloudy conditions wrapping up your 2023. And as we progress into our forecast for tonight, say 28 degrees, mostly clear with a wind out of the west of 4 to 8 miles per hour. Again, it's below freezing, so make sure you remember your 4 p plants, people, pets, and pipes. Make sure you bring them in, keep them nice and warm for tonight. And as we go into tomorrow, we get a little warmer, 64 degrees, mostly sunny with a wind out of the west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And here's your long range 10 day forecast brought to you by Daniel Stark. We can see on that sun, it'll get 69 degrees, almost cracking 70s wrapping up your 2023. And then that front comes in, make it a little bit cooler to 53 degrees on that New Year's Day. And then we get those next chance of those showers on that Tuesday at 60%, keeping our temperatures between the mid and lower 50s. And as we progress into that weekend and into that next following work week, having temperatures down in the lower 50s and upper 40s, having the overnight lows between the up mid 30s and upper 30s. And as you're heading down south to the Brazos Valley, a similar trend here. We do have 72 on Sunday. Look at that. Very warm. And then we get those next chances showers be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Monday, having the temperatures temperatures in between the mid 50s and upper 50s and your overnight lows is in between the mid 30s and upper 40s.